Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of what happens if Noble Six somehow manages to defeat all the Covenant on Lone Wolf? Like, basically the question would be like, what happens if you actually beat Lone Wolf? So, normally, as you know, in a mission Lone Wolf, it's, well, it's literally impossible to beat because it's an infinite number of waves of enemies, or so it seems, and, you know, you just basically survive as long as you can but the waves will get harder and harder and there'll be more enemies and so on. Now, some people can pretty much survive forever if they're like, you know, good enough to know like a few tactics, or if you hide in certain spots where like the enemies can't see you, then you could do that. But let's see what happens if you actually manage to kill all the enemies nonetheless. So let's get into that. Now hold it right there. Before we get to today's video, Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same again. Raid is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. They've set a pretty high bar and there's no going back. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions plus unique skills, you can build your own dream team, build up your champions, and raid your way. Use my links below and download Raid for your phone or PC. Raid just recently turned 2 years old and has come a long way. Raid started out as just a bunch of cool character art and ideas, then it blew up. Raid is currently the number one RPG in the US with over a million players each day and a massive community of players that has done over 2 billion battles already. Raid wants to thank all its awesome players over the years for all the songs and competitions, the cosplay, the content creators, and just for all the good times in general. What I personally like about this game is the huge amount of choice we get when it comes to champions we can use and the skills they have. Since Raid just hit their 2 year anniversary, the game is really bigger and better than ever before. They've just had a month and a half of awesome events and tournaments and they're not slowing down. They're also releasing a new batch of epic and legendary champions with even more coming in the future. They've also just released the second rotation of the Doom Tower. That means new rewards, new gear to win, and of course brutal looking bosses to take on like the Celestial Griffin and Eternal Dragon. If you want to get a head start in Raid, all you have to do is just hit the link in the description below or scan the QR code right here. New players will get a free epic champion Jotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and 3 ancient shards to summon awesome champions in game. I mean, just look at this cool champion to get for free. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. You can find me in game under the name General Kid, and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. It's that easy. Just click the link in the description below, and I'll see you in game. Alright, so, before I show you guys what happens exactly when Noble Six defeats all the Covenant on Lone Wolf, uh, I first want to talk about exactly how this mission works. Like, you know, how all the waves work and all that, and then how, what I had to change to be able to make this possible to test this little experiment. So, on a mission Lone Wolf, there are several waves that the game loops through. It is infinite waves normally, and there is actually no end to Lone Wolf. You could literally play this forever. So, the way it works is that there are different escalation levels that the game assigns as you get more kills. So the more kills you get, the higher the escalation level, until you get to escalation level 4. At escalation level 4, that's where all the uh, the sword elites uh, are charging you, and like there's so many of them, and they just keep swarming you. And it, it gets really difficult at that point. So, that's, you know, that's meant to be like the final wave, and eventually you're not really expected to survive that wave, but some people are able to survive it, of course, and, and so on. And of course, between each escalation, it does take some time to reach the next one if, if you happen to kill all the enemies too fast. That's why right now I'm kind of just walking around and nothing's happening yet. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit just so you can see me go through each um, each escalation. And it does start at escalation 0, actually. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. But um, So what I did to end Lone Wolf, to sort of beat Lone Wolf, is I changed the script of the game a little bit. I added a fifth escalation so that after I killed uh, 40 enemies, it would bump me up to escalation 5. Now, the game does not have an escalation 5. So each escalation has certain numbers of waves, different kinds of enemies, different squads that spawns. But for escalation 5, and pretty much anything above that, it uh, well, it just doesn't know how to handle that. So there are, there are no waves or squads or enemies assigned to Escalation 5. So it's just an empty Escalation. So once I've killed all the enemies in Escalation 4, and there are quite a lot in Escalation 4 compared to 3, 2, and 1, uh, the, once I killed them all, they, uh, well, you'll see what happens in a second, but as you can see, there's uh, Escalation 4 has pretty much enemies everywhere, and there are a lot. But. I managed to kill them all. I actually had to like make my assault rifle instant kill just to make it easier because uh, even on easy difficulty, it's easy to get caught off guard sometimes. And if you're not careful, you will actually um you will actually die on easy difficulty on this mission. So yeah, that's all the enemies for Escalation 4. And 
we are now in escalation 5 and well as you can see in escalation 5 there are no more enemies as expected so we've officially beaten lone wolf in this case we've killed all the covenant enemies and there's no more infinite looping they will not spawn infinitely anymore and what happens at this point well nothing well not nothing to be uh, te te technically speaking so obviously the this mission you're, you're not meant to beat this mission so if, if you actually do quote unquote beat this mission then nothing happens there's no like alternate cutscene uh, but what does happen is that you're you're basically all alone now and there's no more enemies and you can just roam around and I guess Noble Six could look for his cave to hide in until um, the Covenant leave reach but yeah so that's basically what happens if, uh, if Noble Six actually manages to defeat all the Covenant on the mission Lone Wolf and it's that you know the, the game won't end or anything nothing actually happens but <clears throat> it, it, it theoretically could be possible that he beats all the enemies and then, you know, he'll, he'll be free to roam around to find a cave to hide in. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like, leave thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.